What's up everybody and welcome to Tips Episode 2. Last time we covered Liberator versus Liberator dogfighting and I thought the next logical step would be Liberator versus ESF dogfighting. Before I give any tips I want to give a simple breakdown of the types of dogfighting you'll be running into and it falls into pretty much three simple categories. There's going to be the bads, there's going to be the okays, and there's going to be the really goods. So uh, first off, let's define what quote unquote bad pilot is. Um, in general, the main trait of a bad pilot is that they fly straight a lot of the time. And also, even if they get hit by something, they might not deviate <laughs> from their path. So the best way to fight the bad and maybe even some of the okay pilots honestly is to turn your belly around, give angle and just hit the brakes. Most of the time they're just going to fly straight into you while nose gunning you and it's going to be a straight shot for your belly gunner and you're going to be able to take him out even with something like a Zephyr. So learn that maneuver. Um, in my full run videos, I actually do that maneuver pretty often, very quickly, using the default button layouts. Um, you can just face your belly to the left, hold A and scroll down, uh, the opposite for the opposite way. So you can face your belly to the right, hold D and just scroll down and they'll, uh, they'll turn your belly directly behind you. And just trust me, you'll be able to get a pretty significant amount of kills this way. I'd say even as high as probably like 40 to maybe even 50% of your kills. A lot of your easy air kills can be done in this manner. So I highly recommend doing it. Now let's move on to the okay pilots, the medium ones. These guys, they don't fly as straight as the bad pilots. They can maneuver a little bit, but the key difference between these guys and good pilots is that eventually they'll make mistakes. They can maneuver, they can do the reverse a little bit, they can hover, duel maybe just a little, but then they usually leave openings. Like you can nose the nose trade where I can land a high amount of tank buster and get him on fire, or he flies straight for maybe two or three seconds and that's more than enough time for my Dalton gunner to get him or shredder gunner pretty much for the medium pilots you can usually just grind them out like keep the dogfight going and usually if your crew is good enough you'll eventually win that dogfight because they will make the mistake and you won't and finally the really good pilots now these pilots are probably the top 10 to 15 percent of ESF pilots on your server and they are good enough to 1v1 a lot of libs. Honestly if you're a brand new pilot or a brand new crew you're probably gonna die. You might get a lucky Dalton or two sometimes if you're really lucky if you're new but in general if you want to fight these guys you're gonna need an experienced crew. Dogfights with the top ESF pilots usually involve a little bit more guessing game like where they might want to maneuver or what their tendency is like in that particular dogfight so I might try and read a tank buster or maybe try and read a certain way he's gonna go and try and afterburn in that direction while giving my Dalton gunner like a couple passing shots but again to fight these guys you're gonna need a solid crew and unfortunately if you're new you're just gonna have to keep on dying and just keep on getting experience just keep, try and just slowly keep getting better and better and uh, sooner or later you know not only your experience as a pilot but also your crew also gains experience and just keep on getting better a little by little now after explaining the three main categories um, now time to get into some actual guidelines and tips. Uh, the first tip is you want to be close. Against the bad pilots they're gonna get close to you that's why they're bad but against the mediums to the really goods you're gonna have to find a way to get close. You're gonna have to afterburn like directly straight to them if you want any chance of beating them because you have to get close to deal that damage and against the better pilots they're gonna be far shots and also 
very quick passing shots. Like they're gonna be extremely hard to hit, but you know, getting one or two very close passing shots is better than ten or twenty render range shots. So get as close as possible and increase your percentages of getting that killing shot. Now, before, you might remember me mentioning grinding out a dogfight. And by that, I mean landing and repair. When you're 1v1 against an ESF, as long as he doesn't have hornets or rocket pods, and even then, if you're low enough, you might just want to take the gamble and try and rep anyway. But if he just has a nose gun, and you have at least two people, but more often than not, you want three, a full lib. And as long as all of you have at least level three or level four of your repair gun you're going to be able to out rep that nose gun no problem so whenever you hit that you know magical halfway mark or you also have to take into consideration your altitude as well if you're really high if you're fighting at ceiling you're going to have to dive a lot earlier than half hp you're probably going to have to dive maybe around 66 percent and then and then you'd land and repair and try and reset the dogfight with more HP. And what's also really great about this strategy is that it applies to all of the categories I talked about before. It's good for bads, okays, and re the really goods. Because no matter what, getting your HP back to even... Even if you can't even fully rep to 100%. As long as you... If you got three engineers repping at the same time, all you need is like three or four seconds to rep to get to half HP again or even less so just do it and then it increases the time you get to try and win that dogfight and even if you do die whatever you increase your odds of winning in the long run and, that, and that's the important thing I think this will do for now I wanted to keep this video relatively simple for those of you wondering why I haven't covered giving angles and stuff like that yet is because I want to make a whole separate video on that because it's such a huge thing and that one video applies to everything of course because you're going to be giving angles while dogfighting and while hitting ground targets as well so please subscribe if you guys want to see videos like this in the future give me a like on the video if you guys thought it was helpful and share the video as well if you have friends or anybody else looking to learn about libs always feel free to tweet me at me and do plays you can also leave a comment with questions or suggestions for future shows as well and i'll see you guys next time